charge you, I'm charging me. Yep. And I, he could have set it up a different way, but he didn't. He wants to do it with me. He wants us to go at this thing together. It's father-son business. Yeah. Father-son business. Not to sit around and be religious, but to undo the works of the enemy. Jesus showed up. The Son of God was manifest. 1 John 3, 8. I'll give you a scripture tonight. <laughs> For this reason, the Son of God was manifest. To destroy the works of the enemy. Well, if that's why He showed up, I reckon that's why we'll show up. Yes. Father, Son, business. is going to undo well, everything that the enemy's done. I'm telling you, it's a whole different outlook on life than Jesus come quickly. It's getting bad. <laughs> Fooey. 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 I'm telling you, when you wake up every day with this, you know, I don't I don't wake up every day trying not to see it. I don't wake up every day trying to act better. I don't wake up every day thinking, oh gosh, huh? No, I wake up every day, son of God. Yeah. Say, what do you want to do today? Hey, well, we're going we I, Surely and goodness is following me all the days of my life. I got so much of it. If I find somebody that needs a little, I'm gonna give it to them. That's right. You know why? I'm a taker. That's right. I got more than I need. Mm -hmm. I saw this, and this is. It took me, took me two or three, four times to get Denny all the way healed. And so I saw this uh, the night when that other lady got healed. I don't know. I'm not even. You guys know I'm not educated enough even to know what to call it. If it's vision or what, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sharing with y'all because this is like campfire family deal here, right? right. I, I'm telling you guys more normal tonight than I normally would. Right? So, so here I saw this. This lady's getting healed. You know, it's like I got access now to the tree of life, right? You guys have heard me talk about the tree of life, tree of knowledge, good and evil. Do you know there's fruit on the tree of life? Yeah. That's right. I've got full access. He said, freely eat. Yeah. All you want. And so I've got access to this tree because of Jesus. Yep. I've got access now. He kicked him out of the garden and set, a, set an angel out there to guard it because he didn't want him getting in and eating from it in the state they were in. Well, now Jesus came. I'm in a different state. He said, I can eat again. Yep. So now, now I got uh, free rights to partake of this tree. Yep. And so this lady's getting healed, right? And I, I saw this. I saw the tree of life. I have access to the tree of life. And it's just like, thank you, Jesus. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So, so here it was three or four times. He's, he's almost he's like. Hurting real bad to begin with and got better. So we talked a little more, did it, went after it again. See, we ain't just uh, begging God to do something here with this back. God already moved. God's not the one that has to move on this deal. It's the devil that has to move. Amen. It's his stuff. And, you, and, you, and it takes somebody who knows who they are to get the devil to move. And that, I mean, that's it. It's just the right. way it is. Yeah. So it took three or four times. He didn't want to let go. Yeah. So then I started telling about this fruit. Oh, I grabbed, told that just like that, and just like I just did, handed it to him, and right then, left, didn't he? He said, it's gone now. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and now look, I'm not nobody. Y'all, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a son, You're a son of God. I mean, you know what I mean. I'm a lot of different than you all are. I don't have something that you don't have. Nope. I have what Jesus has. Yes. Amen. Me too. Yes. You all have what Jesus has. Yep. Yes. yes. You don't need a preacher. No, I'm, I'm not, you know, I like church. I like all that. That's good. I'm telling you, he uses that. We need teachers and all that. I'm not against it. That's it's good. I like it. Yeah. I'm saying if a preacher's really doing his job, he ought to be working himself out of a job. Amen. Yep. Now there's always more people, so you know. <laughs> not saying he's obsolete anymore, but, but still yet. You ought to be out there telling storms to be still on your own. That's right. You ought to be laying hands on the sick and getting them healed on your own. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Now listen, I'm not saying, be, don't be condemned if you ain't there yet. I'm saying want to be there and ask Him to get you there. What does it take for me to get there? I want to be there. 
When I first, when I first, st I can remember take go back. I'm gonna go way back, way back. I've told this a time or two probably, but way back what started it for me was I knew this man, and he was the sweetest man there ever was, and I don't know what he had, but he was in one of them wheelchairs, operate with this thing, you know, and couldn't walk or what, had one of them something or another. You'd heard of it if I was smart enough to say it. And he'd get up there in a the wheelchair and wheel up to the front, and he'd sing, and he'd hand him the microphone down. He couldn't even get up on the platform. He'd sing, and he'd sing the anchor holds, you know. And this is back when I'm just my old Baptist self, didn't believe in nothing. I say, that's all I knew, say. So, he sang the anchor holds, and I mean, tear just run down his face, and I mean, I, I, it was it was the beatingest thing you could ever witness. And I'm thinking, man, this is awesome. I mean, God get all over you. you know, this right. good stuff. And so I think to myself there, I said, God, if anybody can be healed, why can't this guy be healed? Now listen, I wasn't even smart enough to know that this was God saying this to me till later on, right? But now I know. This is what He said to me. He could be if I had somebody to go down there and, and demand it. Ouch. Ouch. I knew I didn't have it. But I did say this. If you'll show me, I'll go. That's right. If you'll show me, I'll get there. I'll do it. I'm cowboy. That's right. I'm tired of this nonsense anyway. I'm looking for a way out. You go to you go to getting hungry for God and looking after God and bucking your tradition, you'll find a way out. That's right. <laughs> They'll help you out. <laughs> I'm just raw tonight, all right? Yes. I'm just saying. Let's get hungry. You want to? Yeah. Let's no longer be lined up in battle array going through the motions. Let's be David's. When we show up on the scene, the devil's going down. Yes. Not people getting healed. I'm talking about set free. Something's changing. Because you know who you are. And it's in you. The devil will do anything he takes for you to find, keep from finding out who you really are. Because you have you have so much more power than he has. That's right. He has you have you have all the authority. He's nothing. He's nothing. He's a liar. And he reigns by bluff and lies and and operates in darkness. You know what darkness is? Darkness represents not knowing. Yep. The only place the devil can operate in our life is in darkness. It says in the book of Jude that all the angels that were kicked out of their boat, those are spirits. The angels that got kicked out, they were angels. Now, now they're demonic. There's demonic spirits now that went with the devil. And so they're the ones out here creating all this. Well, it said that God Himself bound them in chains into darkness. Yep. God said, here you guys are in dark, you, you're chained to darkness. The only place they can operate is in darkness. The opposite of darkness is light. If you're in the light, or ding, the light bulb comes on, right? Remember them cartoons? Wile E. Coyote gets a big idea, right? He just thought of something. He just came into the knowledge of something, and the light comes on. The only place the enemy can operate is in the places that we don't know. That's right. Once you know, he can no longer operate. <laughs> they said, you, I remember what, been seven or eight years ago now, I stood right here in this place and said, I'll never be sick again. Well, you all heard this up. <laughs> Some of them still talking about it. Like, right. How in the world can he say he'll never be sick again? Well, that's six, seven, eight years ago now, and you haven't seen me out with a sick day, have you? How long are we going to go before somebody starts believing it? <laughs> Come on. I know. That's right. right. And so since I know, I'm, the lights came on, and I'm not... Now, I'm not saying he's not, not going to come at you and try something on you, but... Yeah. It ain't landed. 
It can only operate in darkness. <coughs> darkness is in places that we don't know. You with me? Yeah. I, I've circled everything I know. I don't know where I'm... Denny's healed. Amen. Amen. I'm just saying, that woman up there that's been believing for her healing for I don't know how long, she's healed. Yes. And here's why. Because somebody came along that wasn't just satisfied with lining up in battle array. Amen. I ain't sure ain't bragging on me. I'm just a believer. I just decided that my example in this book is not Peter. I appreciate them guys. I'm not taking away from them. I learned from them. That it's got good stuff. I'm not saying. But at the end of the day, my mentor, my hero, my the one I want to be like, the one that I'm patterning my life after is Jesus. Amen. And I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pronounce this over this bunch right now. That we will not be satisfied That's right. with anything less. Yes. Amen. Amen. Regardless of how long it takes, regardless of how many times we fail and fall and whatever else, we will not be satisfied until we're living life on this earth the same as Jesus. Yes. Loving folks, yes. healing folks, delivering yes. folks, speaking to storms. That's right. Yep. No fear. No fear. Right. That's what I have. No fear. No fear. We're the light of the world. How is the light of the world going to have any effect if we're sitting in church house with all the other lights? Because we're scared of darkness. Oh, something will get on you. <laughs> Fooly with that. Let's go get yeah. what we got on them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go start loving folks and healing folks. You watch what happens. We don't have to have no programs. That's right. Yeah. Huh? Right. I understand now a little more about. I'll, I'll quit with this. It's getting hot. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't care. I'll go all night. But I say I understand a little bit more about what Jesus would say. Don't go tell. That's right. Because we're seeing a lot of folks healed. Now, not in this instance, because he's one of us. <clears throat> but, like, there's, there's other church folk that come around and get healed. Yeah. No, places they're at may not necessarily agree with that or believe in that and they sure don't want no ties to the cowboy church right so then they go they're all excited they got healed they put it all over facebook and all that i'm i mean it's good i'm not saying that's wrong but at the same time uh-oh you know what i mean like now now a line's been drawn now Oh well, that's another subject for another time. I'm just saying, I'm not saying don't go tell, but I'm saying it's going to draw a line. That's right. It's going to draw a line. I say let the lines be drawn. Let's go after it. Amen. Yeah. Yes. We're takers, ain't we? Yes. yes. No longer setting by. Hey, if I don't get, if I got something trying to get on me and I can't get it off today, I'm going to get help. Uh, you can call that impatient or not. I, I know fruit of the Spirit is patience, and I believe that's for dealing with people. When it comes to dealing with the devil, I ain't having no patience. That's right. He's got to move now. Amen. 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 If anybody needs help with him tonight, you can get him. You can get help with it tonight. I'm saying, I, I'm, I'm saying, contend for it yourselves and believe for you healing and all that stuff. I'm saying, live in that. Yes, that's the posture to live in. But if you got something getting on you, get help. My goodness, don't live one day without getting healed. So if you got something tonight you want rid of, let's get rid of it. You want to? That's right. We're in the mood. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, we can't close with a song, I don't guess. So. <laughs>
guess. Yeah. I guess listen to your radio on the way home. <laughs> Am I good? Yeah. yeah. All right, now let's 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 think about this here. How you gonna get out of here in the dark? Don't everybody just jump up and rush the door, all right? <laughs> let some of them let some of them older folks get going if they want to. Or y'all stay all night. I don't care. But I'm going to eat. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to stop and make. Love y'all. Bye. -bye.